All right, hello. So my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. So enough about me, let's get into this. So what the topic we're gonna be covering is motors. So this is specifically just one individual motor. Like this one, you can't really use it for steering. This is more, for example, like to have like a little motor that you can use like to move, like up and down, or just like to make it rotate, or just do like, whatever the task is, it's only for one motor. So keep that in mind. Okay, so only one motor. So we're only working with one, not two, not three, not four, but only one. All right, so let's get started. So first, when I refer to functions, I refer to the individual blocks, okay? When I refer to classes, I refer to movements, mo displays, sound, events, and sensors, okay? Just all of those. Those That's the difference between a class and a function because I might be using those vocabularies and if you get confused, that's what I mean. All right, so first we're gonna start off. So with, with this one, Right here, you have the option to choose what port. So as you guys know, in the motors ports, it goes from A to D. So you have the option for four motors, nothing more. And you know, sadly, you can't add more. That's all That's all we're literally limited to. And as well, you have the option you want it to go clockwise or counterclockwise. So you have that option as well. But here's, here's what I think is the most useful one, where you want it to go based on rotations, degrees, or seconds so what this is going to do for example you're like okay i wanted to do only one rotation it's going to start it's going to do a whole one 360 and it's going to stop 360 and it's going to stop okay if i could i could do and make it do like a hundred times if i wanted to it doesn't it doesn't change now degrees this one's a little bit different okay so for example if i let's suppose i start we start here and then we're like okay i want to go 90 degrees so the wheel's going to turn 90 degrees and it's gonna stop and then that's it as as long as as long as the degree gets met that's all that matters then we have seconds so seconds as time so for example if you if I want to go for 100 seconds as I have it right here it's gonna go on for a hundred seconds it's not gonna go for any less anymore it's gonna go for a hundred seconds and then as soon as it hits 100 seconds it's gonna stop and then the program well if you have more code underneath it's gonna go if you don't well it's gonna stop and then let's move on and then start motor all start motor is going to do for example obviously i would choose a motor i would choose a b c or d and then from there i uh, choose clockwise or counterclockwise what this do is just going to keep on the motor going and going and going and going and go there is nothing telling it to stop because all it does is start the motor but it doesn't say hey stop you know so as like comparison to the other one, there's actually something that stops it here. You see when I'm, the rotation is met or the degrees is met or the seconds. However, here, there is nothing that needs to be satisfied. It just needs to go on forever and ever and ever. And then right here, we have the stop motor. So all that does is you choose a motor and then it's just gonna stop the motor. It's just not gonna move. And then set the speed to 75%. So what this does is like, for example, let's suppose if I were to use just start motor. So this, it will start the motor A at 75% of the speed. But however, let's suppose I want to to change it to be way slower. Let's suppose 10% of the speed. So what this is gonna do is gonna start this motor, but at a 10% speed. So it's kind of, it's really useful if you ask me because like as you guys have seen, when it's full speed, it goes really quick. And at times it might not be the best thing that you want it to do at the moment. So let's move on. So now, as well, again, the ports, but this one's a little bit different. This one's set motor to hold position at stop. So when it's gonna do, uh, when it stops, it's gonna hold it. For example, like if this would be, this could be kind of useful and you're like, okay, I want it to stop here, you know? So that's kind of useful at times. So now I suppose this one as well. This one is a combination of the first one and the speed. So instead of having to use both of these blocks, you could just use one. So it's more compact and more powerful, technically. It does the same thing, but except this one, you only have to use one function, one block. That's it. So for this one, you, you still have the option of degrees, seconds, and rotations. However, now you get to choose at what speed. It could be very useful because as you guys know, the robot, the more faster it goes, the less accurate it's gonna be. So your robot, you want it to go slow, so it could be really accurate. And now the next one is start motors at 75% speed. So this is exactly what it's gonna do. It's like kind of like the same one, like the set, except this one is gonna start the motor. Imagine if you were to combine this, you were to combine this one 
and this one. All it's gonna do is gonna it's gonna start it at a certain speed. However, now it's gonna go on forever, ever and ever. There's nothing telling it to stop. Comparison to this one, as soon as the degrees is met, the seconds is met, and the rotation is met, it's gonna stop. This one, nothing. It's the only thing. The only thing you have now is that now you control whatever speed you want it to go at. And then for the second one, start motor at 100% power. It's the same concept as this one, except this is speed and this is power. So this is how powerful you want the engine to be, you know? So you as well have that option, you know, use it as you will wish. And then right here, we have reset degrees counted. So for example, sometimes, you know, like when your wheel turns, it might be like, okay, uh, 100 degrees. However, you're like, okay, you don't want to do all that math. You're like, okay, I just want to start fresh and then go 90 degrees. You know, so you, you have all that power and then that's what this does. This we're going to go into more detail into when we go into variables and sensors and stuff like that. So just keep keep a look for that. So that's pretty much it for when it comes to motors. There's really not much else to it. Um, don't forget if you want to see a live demo of this to go and click on the link. There's going to be a link provided of a live demo of motors. So you're going to have that option. And thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful.